gonna keep that same power level too. Ready. Okay. Let me Nothing in that cup. So what's up? There's absolutely nothing in that Bro, cup. Bro, <laughs> there's like this much stuff in there. There's stuff in the cup. All right, cool. All right, it's your girl, just me, KB. I'm back with another video. KB, Courtney, Brion. KB, yeah, you know. Anyways, I'm here discussing the topic of uh, two songs. Wait, you didn't introduce me. Oh, I'm sorry. How rude of me. I know. What kind of what kind of ghetto podcast? What kind of ghetto <laughs> video is this? Hey. I'm Tashiro. I'm the owner of Tamo T, uh, a local tea shop and vegan food restaurant in Columbus, Georgia. Um, I make the best stuff ever. Come on, come holler at me. Uh, you know, listen to some music, play some video games. And we have an amazing cameraman behind the scenes. Just say hello to the people. Hi everyone. My name is Austin. Call your. <laughs> <laughs> Why you doing my whole name? <laughs> Just in case anybody wondering. Well, anyways, I came in to his tea shop today, and um, we were... She's pouring her heart out. Like no, I was not. And this is what happened. I came in here, and I was on my YouTube. Oh, hey, am I, am I, are my fingers ashy in this video? No. Okay, cool. What did you say? So I came here, and we were discussing about um, well, an event that I'm going to be doing in December and um, I was on my YouTube channel and I was telling him about my YouTube and then um, I saw the song None of Your Concern and I played it and I let him listen to it and I asked him what his opinion was. Well, she was like, how could somebody just leave somebody with such a beautiful soul? And I was like, well, if somebody put on the camera not necessarily reflects their personal, real internal, you know, strifes. What I meant by someone beautiful, I meant not just their physical appearance. I meant I like just literally said that. So deep. <laughs> how could how could you? How why? Oh, you asked me like I've loved somebody with a beautiful soul. My Have mind. you ever loved somebody with a beautiful soul? Uh, no, she won't leave. So. So you're saying you never loved someone with a beautiful soul? I never left or loved. Loved. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And you tried to leave her. Yeah, man, because she needs somebody probably better. Than me. And why do you think that you're not better? Um, well, you know, for the longest time, I struggled with the, uh, with the, uh, with, with, uh, I don't know, just guy stuff. Uh, and then, you know, what kind of guy stuff? You know, just like, you know, wanting to see other women mm -hmm. and, you know, wanting to go, you know, to like a basketball game. And so you thought the grass was greener on the other side and you wanted to kind of try to test the waters. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I'm young. I mean, I don't know a lot of stuff. I mean, maybe the grass is How different. old are you? 29. But that 29? was like when I was early 20s. You were in your early 20s? Like, how early? Like, over 21? Like, my birthday is February 19th. My, uh, February 20th, I was on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you was, were still with her in the when you were in your early 20s. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, we've been together for 11 years. I love you, Keisha. <laughs> So you've been with her for 11 years and you wanted to test the waters and you wanted to see what it was like to be outside of y'all's relationship or what? Yeah, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say I wanted to test the waters, but, you know, when I, like I said, when I was earlier, I didn't understand that I was polyamorous, uh, which I know is usually a cop out for like, you know, hey, I want to, which is not necessarily the case in my case, but, uh, yeah, that's kind of how it was, you know, I was, you know, just, and plus we were, in, we were living together. We kind of have like had like a long distance relationship since we started talking and you said you tried to get rid of her i don't want to say try but yeah definitely tried. how how did you try uh one of her class old classmates were interested and i was like hey you got it bro and he she didn't go for it and you know i've done some you know some just guy stuff and you know she wouldn't leave which i kind of like i'm glad that she hasn't because you know she is still the love of my life i love her to death that's so sweet. Aww. I do. That's the love of my life. That's so sweet. I'm glad you can admit that. A lot of people can't admit that. Uh, I don't know who can. Mm, yeah, me neither. Uh, here we go. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> so in the song, <laughs> it says, yeah. in the song, none of your concern, it says, I've been hearing things and seeing things, and so it seems you moving on from me. 
Of course, you on the scene with Little Miss Thing, and trust me, she really don't want beef. That's besides the point. I'm disappointed as a homie. What is it you see? I want better for you moving forward. That's what's better for you than me. Can you break down that verse? Because I never I didn't understand. That verse? Yeah. She says, I've been hearing things and seeing things, and so it seems you're moving on. So she's been saying that this person that she was with has been doing some things and um she's he's been seeing other people uh-huh. doing kind of like doing his own thing yeah. and um she says you know you've been with this girl hanging out with her doing your little thing gotcha. she don't want you know basically you don't you don't want these hands and um she was saying this to this girl or she was saying this to the guy she was basically kind of like that was like um shade she don't want this beef like yeah. you don't you know you don't you don't want this gotcha so she was angry at the other girl for her um, I don't know if she's angry, but... Obviously she is, because she was like, she doesn't want the other girl. She's saying the other girl, she doesn't want beef. Okay. She says, that's beside the point. Uh-huh. I'm disappointed as a homie. She's disappointed in him for basically... I would get from this that she's disappointed that you would leave me for somebody else that you thought, you know, could be better. Uh-huh. What, is it, what is it that you see in her that you basically don't see in me? What is it that you see? Uh, maybe she cooks. Uh, maybe she has like a something that he might be really kind of interested in. I don't know, man. Maybe he might be polyamorous and he might just want to give affection to other people. I, and maybe he didn't even leave it. Maybe she was just jumping to conclusions and maybe he was just interested in this other girl for a while, but it was maybe just a fling. So she was just like, you know, so, so you know, she just got all, you know, blah, 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 and was like, you know, all right. That's how she kind of saw it. But she makes a point to say that she wishes him nothing but the best. Okay. And she right. says that several times in her, in the song. Alright, you, you, you're taking a lot of context out of a song. I mean, obviously. I mean, it's written in the words. Yeah, but I mean, you know, honestly, like, what? It's it's written in the words, but it's it's a song. Like, you know, they so broke up. you don't up. think that these feelings are like valid? You don't think that her lyrics come from a genuine place and they're not true? Yeah, of course. But I feel like you know. Even though her her emotions might come from a genuine place, and even though, you know, it's a beautiful song, we don't understand what necessarily happened and what transpired. Maybe That's true. other things have happened that allowed me and him was like, you know, maybe I want to see this other girl, or maybe, you know, like I said, these people are rich, so like, they don't have to live together, you know, they don't have to be like, all right, I need a couple months to get my other rent up so I can get out, you know, they don't have to do any of that stuff. They have cars, they have... Uh, access to capital that we but don't they're not want. exempt from feelings yeah they're not exempt from feelings but they're all but they are exempt from an ordinary lifestyle like if 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 i was having relationship issues and uh i'm not big shun then i have to be like all right well i guess i gotta work this out because i'm not not finding another girl who looks like he should have a relationship but Big Sean, obviously, Big Sean, and across which thing him musically, which he's great. Uh, he he has access to a lot more of a higher quality of a lifestyle, and uh, a, a kind of like different level of girl that me and uh, boy Austin get. You know, not saying you know anything different, but you know, just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, I mean, he, he hey, I've been sliding into Rihanna DMs since I was like since twenty ten. No message back. He probably do one message. He probably you know go out and maybe ice cream. Right. Back on topic. <laughs> but then she also twenty ten does- Rihanna every week. Okay. Anyways, in another verse, she says you've been hearing things and seeing things, and so it seems I'm moving on on my own. The audacity to question me like you ain't leave me out here on my own, and she continuously to wish him well. So another thing, if you leave someone. And you're still checking for them. Why do you think you have the audacity to try to watch or check for them or question them about what they're doing? Like, why? Because, like I said, maybe she kind of maybe jumped to conclusions and something. And was like, but you, but you left her. Why? Maybe, why? He didn't, maybe he didn't leave her. Maybe he was just in Vegas chilling and you know. She okay. Through. Not just talking about this topic, but it could be for anybody else because I've seen this before. Any male that leaves a female, I've never seen it with the, well, I can't say that it doesn't happen, but I'm sure that it does. But any male that leaves a female always tries to come and check for her and question her when he sees that she's moving on. So why do you, 
I'm saying I've seen this firsthand yeah. many times, but why do you think... I've seen it firsthand from the other side, too. I, I just, yeah, I just said, you know, I'm sure it happens on the other side, but what, what's the point? I mean, because people, because love is love, man. You just can't stop loving somebody just because y'all are not together. I love people that, I love but people that love I've been... Them. So what's, why? Like I said, I mean, like I said, the, 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 the details of why, who left who and what happened, you know, it necessarily, it's not clear to us. So... Uh, I mean, like I said, I love people that, you know, I've loved, and you know, I love people that love me, and I will always love them, but I mean... Uh, you can love from a distance, but that doesn't mean that you get the right to question them, and you get to check on them, and like, yeah, check like, for them. Yeah, okay, doing? I can see if you can, you're, you say, you know, how you doing and whatnot, but don't sit up here and question because, me, and ask me, I mean, like, who if are I you deep, with, if I why deeply, are you with If them? I deeply love somebody, and you know, even though things didn't work out, I didn't, uh, you know, we, we're not still together... I would still be curious to who they're seeing because, you know, people these days, you know, you got to be careful. People are dangerous. I mean, she's You want to see if you're happy? Yeah. These people are dangerous these days. You know, I can see Janae, the What's her name? Janae Aiko? What's her name? Something like that, yeah. you know? You know, she might go out on a tender day and get kidnapped, you know? Shit, you know, you got to you gotta check that shit, you know? But not when you come to me like, who are you with? Who is this? Why are you with them? And all that. Kind of, no. Maybe. That's not okay. Maybe he was just like, hey, who are you seeing? And he's like, you know. But why does that matter to you? Because you left me. Maybe he didn't want to leave her. Maybe he was just out there just seeing, you know, what else was out there. You know, he was just like... And you shouldn't have left in the first place. Because you deserve better. Maybe he was touring and she wasn't touring with him and she he was just in a spot and it was just like, hey, you know, you know, he, he turned on his Tinder account, somebody swiped right, he swiped right on that one. It was just like, hey, you want to go out for drinks or some shit? You know, that's how shit happened. My point is, you're broken up. Why are you still checking for me and questioning me about what I do if you left me? Cause I still care about what's going on in your life. Well, yeah, why? Because, because I, I still care you. about you. I yeah, still love you. you. But, <laughs> but you left me. So why? Why did? Why did? Why do I concern you? I'm none of your concern anymore. That's not. That's not necessarily true. Yeah. There's a difference between a, just, there's a difference between a soulmate and a life partner. Yeah. That is true. You can I, have a soulmate and you can have a life partner. Sometimes your life partner. Isn't necessarily your soulmate. Sometimes you can't. Your soulmate isn't qualified to be your life partner. Yeah. So I still want to check up on my soulmate to yeah. see if she's doing okay, if she's safe, if she's with the right person. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. Sometimes you know things don't work out at the first, and then you know you just get back together later. Like that's the person. Maybe he felt like even though they are not together, she's st that she's still a good friend, and I still care about her enough to check up on her. So basically, right, girl wrong mindset wrong time yeah, absolutely sometimes it's the right girl but wrong time sometimes i wish i could have put my girlfriend in the freezer for like 10 <laughs> or 15 years and got it out but it don't work like that so i just gotta like damn i gotta deal with the shit now all right, all right. so you say black men don't cheat, black men don't cheat. <laughs> do you agree with that also? i absolutely agree absolutely. black men don't cheat black men don't cheat not at all Okay, you said emphasis on men. Okay. Okay, so what makes a man? What makes a man? Yeah. I'm just taking care of business, not cheating. Absolutely. What kind of business, though? You know what? I got to address this black men don't cheat stuff. Hold, hold on. <laughs> black men do cheat. And so do white men. So do Asian men. So do every man and woman, you know, regardless of race, ethnicity, and culture, have had some sort of extramarital affairs. You know, it's not about... The I same. don't approve of this message. Hey, don't approve of it. But, at, but you know, the black people in America have a very special situation going on. I mean, we're a large dysphoria up and down the North and South um, South American coast or countries or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, we don't know where we're from. And it's, we, we come from a, we come from several hundreds of years of having our families broken up. Uh, and people being relocated and not seeing somebody else, you know, blah, 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 blah. So it's a very, you know, sensitive subject, you know, when we're talking about what black men don't do and do. So, you know, and honestly, I feel like saying black men don't cheat is, is very damaging to the community because I've known several black men who have cheated. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but, and the damage it has caused to, like, their relationships has been detrimental. But I've also known several white men have cheated and the damage they have caused their relationships or uh, that has been detrimental. So it really doesn't matter what your race is. No, but you know, it's, 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 it's you know, it, I, I, like, 
I, I know a guy who's married. He's in his late 40s. He has a beautiful wife, beautiful family, has a home. He cheats on his wife. And, you know, my girlfriend was trying to wrap her mind around this. And I was just like, you know. Why not just be straightforward and be like, hey, look. Like you, like we discussed yesterday. You said be straightforward and be like, look, I love you, but I want to do you. Because da, 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 da. when you're married, things are complicated. And honestly, like uh, his wife probably do know. But just for the sake of saying she don't know. If, like, he's married to her and he is having extramarital affairs with her. He is still providing for the family. He's still loving to his wife. He still does. He still take care of his business. He's not out here just abandoning his wife for somebody different. He just, you know, he's an opportunist, you know, and that's what a lot of men are. They're opportunists. Men are opportunists. That's what makes us men. Is that we see opportunity, we go for it. But not all men are the same. Not all men need that. Exactly. We all have different personalities. We all have different, you know, motivations. Why we cheat? I mean. Some people just are opportunists. Some people are just affectionists. Some people are just uh, uh, capitalists, you know. So it's just what makes them them, you know. It's it's not, you know, uh, it's not like you're just trying to put all your body into the same cup. It's, it's several different cups on why men do several different things, you know. It's not like we're all single-minded. It's just that, you know, we some men don't, some men do. And, you know, this whole cheating thing is like, you know. Uh, I think that it's become way too common. No, it's kind of men, like have, an men have been cheating for lifetimes. I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's way, it's entirely way too common. But I mean, men have been, and it's not okay. It's not the the reason why the reason why men wait the reason why the the, the come the, the why it seems more common that men cheat is because of the breakdown of a lot of social barriers and social situations to why and uh, medical situations to why why men can be able to cheat more. Or have extra relational affairs more frequently than they could, you know, years ago, and that's because of one, social media; two, there is uh, birth control and uh, a, a wide access to uh, STD medications. There is uh, less emphasis on the family structure. I mean, what is it like? Divorce rates are fifty percent now in the country or more. Uh, X amount of there's X amount of single moms in the country. Uh, so there's been since the late 60s and 70s I mean there's been a breakdown of just traditional uh, family roles that weren't really that traditional in the first place I think monogamy is a it's not really that natural for humans so let me ask you this what is it about sex like about why sex. why do you so you say it's not about sex so why cheat because it's and not just cheat so why why do it because it's I don't know. It's that, you know, it's that feeling, right? You, just, you gotta see if you still got it. Yeah, it's like, yo, it's like, uh, I put it like this. I heard a comedian, like, so let's say you're a fish and I'm a fisherman. And, you know, every day I go out there and I catch another fish. And, you know, I bring it home or I just throw it back, you know, in the water. But then one day I get this one fish and I try to throw it back and it won't leave. And then I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm stuck with this fish. And I'm probably not explaining it right, but whatever. <laughs> but anyway, it's like, all right, well, I'm sticking with this fish. And then, you know, a few years later, it's like, you know, the fish comes to me like, you know, why do you still have your boat? And it was like, well, why do you still have your reel? And it was like, because I want to be able to catch more fish. And the fish was like, well, am I the only fish you will ever need? And, you know, this, 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 I don't know, it's like, they don't understand that, you know, we're fishermen, we want to catch more fish. And we need a boat to do it, and we need a reel to do it. And, you know, there's something out there if you just go out and catch men fish with their hands. But, you know, most guys need the boat for real. So it's it's not like, you know, it, it, it's, it's a different situation. And, like, women cheat too. Yeah, they do. Like, I'm not just blaming this all on men. Women do cheat. They do. Man, it's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's okay. Like, you know, it's not need, okay. Don't <laughs> say that it's okay. It we, is not okay. Well, we need to break down the stigma of cheating. And you we might as well read, just leave someone in that case. It's not that easy. Cheat. It's yes, it not. Is. Boy, boy, what? I know a guy paying 4800 bucks in child support and alimony right now. Why Why would you want to cheat on somebody and hurt somebody? Because. Uh, Mentally. And emotional, like, why would you because want to do it's that? easier to cheat and try to get away with it than it is to tell somebody straight up, I want to see other people and I want to try why to can't not even see other. I just want to have sex with that girl right, right there. there, yes, that is it. And I want to come back and love you, yes. and still have a family with you, yes, it is. And it's, it's gonna be the same tantrum, and it's like, people don't the same tantrum will it, come out. 
And it's like, man, like you don't understand. But it's, you can save somebody by just saying, "Look, I love like you, but I don't, I don't." It want might be their soulmate. Fully. Well, then that's your own problem. You got to figure that out. It might be their soulmate. Um, it, it might be like, hey, I don't know. Like, you know, it's, it's. I mean, you know, like I said, you know, it's, it's, it's just, you know, that's how some guys are. You the know. same way y'all think having sex with another person is so disloyal, y'all don't understand how having sex with somebody else it's means nothing to us. Like, we nothing. just want to do it. Nothing. But why? Why just do it? Why can't we? You explain why we can't do it, and I'll explain why we can't. I'm asking you, why Why do it and you get nothing out of it? Not, it's not nothing, but... Yes, absolutely. 100%. Because love and lust are two different things. You know... There's a very thick line between love and lust. I love you. I lust after her. You yeah. know, I want to love you. But in the end, in the what family. is that? How is that going to benefit you? What is that going to do for you? Except for something that's just in the moment. It, it makes you like, wow, you know, I, I did it. Okay, wow. It's, it's okay, a so it's just the knowledge of knowing that you did it. That's the only benefit that you get from pride. The world. Man's it's even, pride. It's not even pride. It's, 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 it's undescribable. Like, it's, it's, it's like, a born bred guy code that me and Austin can feel between each other. Mm -hmm. You can't never understand. It's like, I did it. And it's hard to say, like, just saying I did it, but I did it. So being boastful. No. No. Because it sounds like that's what it is. It's kind of like bragging and no, like, just, no. just something for a minute. Instinctual. Like, I can't even explain it either. Like, a girl can walk by and if she biting. Yeah. It's, it's just a guy thing. Like, you know, men will not have any of the things we have now if it wasn't for women. It was like, a guy would live out of a box and ride a bicycle if it wasn't if it wasn't trying to impress a woman. You know, it was like, he doesn't need, like, and it's not all guys want to impress women or some stuff, but, you know, that's how civilization has advanced in a lot of ways is by trying to impress women and other guys, you know I mean? It's like, you know, I won't, you know, and it's, it's not even like consciously, it's like, you know, subconscious that, you know, I bring Austin over to my house and I'm showing him all my paintings and stuff and like all my cool stuff and he's like just thinking deep down like he's like thinking like yeah but deep down he wanted it and he's like you know this has never happened yeah <laughs> <laughs> so how do, what about when it comes to dating though like how when you try to pick up a girl you want to go after her and it's not lustful it's genuine but then you still over here being lustful and you thinking that, oh, well, this girl could be the one, but I'm still got to wonder or not, and I'm being less well over here. How do you think that's going to play out? I don't know, sometimes, I mean, sometimes there's some issues that some men aren't satisfied with, you know, or sometimes, you know. So why put yourself forward in the dating scene if you still got some issues that you feel like you need to work out? I mean, because, like I said, men are opportunists. A lot of men are opportunists. So, like, my girl isn't cooking for me. I don't get a girl that can cook. I mean, if you call me, uh, some people call me sexist for that. I'd be like, you know, I'm just traditional. How about you just help her cook or show her how to cook or take a cooking class together? Build with one another. I'll teach you this shit. <laughs> what is wrong with that? I what could, is wrong with building with wanna, your, signif your I, significant I, other? I, I do cook. I own a restaurant. No, you said you cook. Yes. You didn't say she. Y'all together cook as one. Because Build, I have help. other things going on. Like, you know, if I, like I said, if she was in my situation, I would cook. And I, you know, like 100%. Like I, so you don't feel like you can take the time out of your day to be like, hey, let's, you know, do this together. Let's cook together. Yeah, we do things together, but it's like not. Let me show you. Let me help you. Yeah, we do, we do it together. We help things. We do things together, you know. Um, but, you know, like I was saying, you know, it's if I see a girl and I'm interested in her, you know, I'm going to say to her, like, hey, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. I might make her laugh, you know, tickle her a little bit, you know, rubber feet. So you would do this in front of your girlfriend? Yes. In a polyamorous relationship. Yeah. I've been encouraged by my girlfriend to do that. Okay, how long have you guys been in this? Pronounce it for me, poly what? What is polyamorous? Yeah. Polyamorous. Yeah. You should know better than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Explain to the people what that is. Uh, man, I, I kind of have a, like a loose idea what it is, but it's a... So you're kind of, it's kind of like an open relationship. You're dating someone, you're with that person, that well, you claim that person, but you guys are seeing other people at the same time. Is that what it is? Kind of, but not really. It's, you know, polyamorous to me is, isn't really like just trying to see or have sex with other people. To me, it's about sharing affection with other people. You know, and I'm an affectionate person, so I want to share affection with a lot of people. But it's, 
you know, just wanting to like, you know, I'm polyamorous like naturally and she's not really, she's like more monogamous. She's more like, you know, she doesn't understand it either, but somehow, you know, she works. And um, it's like, I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard to describe, man. It's just like, I don't want to be polyamorous, but it happened. You know, it was just like, you know, I, you know, I hate that I'm polyamorous. Mm-hmm. But you know, I had to come to terms with it, and you know, it was mm-hmm. just you know, it is what it is. I love that. I don't want to be this way. I don't want to. I promise you, it hurt. I, I, that's why I'm said, glad you can admit this. A lot of people can't admit their truth, like their truth. But I'm glad you can. When my friend was telling me I'm polyamorous, I was like, No, bro, I'm not polyamorous. And she was like, Yeah, you're polyamorous. And I was like, And I had to sit down one day, and it was a couple of years ago, and I was like, You know what? She's right. And you know, that's made things a lot easier. Uh, do you think that you would ever stop being that way? I try to, you know, I try to, uh, you know, uh, and my girlfriend knows what kind of girls I like, uh, but it, you know, over there shaking his head. Yeah. <laughs> what in the world? You know, <laughs> but you know, it's it's. It, I mean, she's she's the love of my life, and like you know, if it hurts her, then you know, I has don't she want ever her. come out and said to share, "You really hurt me when you do those things," or? When I see you with other females, do you not think that it hurts her? Yeah, I know it hurts her. I mean, it hurts me too that she's hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it makes me feel bad and it makes me like, damn, you know, I wish it wasn't like this. Uh, Have you tried yeah. to stop? Have you gone to therapy board? Or? Yeah, like, I mean, it wasn't like, like, we've been together for 11 years. This is just like some new shit. I mean, like, of course I've had other relationships, before, you know, in between those times, but mm-hmm. you know, it was in the last couple of years where it was like, you know, I'm actually polyamorous. Yeah. Um, and my therapist suggested this, you know, years about three years ago, and I wasn't really kind of like hip on the idea either at the time. But uh, you know, and you know, I looked, but you know, it took some time to kind of get around, it, and I was like, yeah, I want to stop. I will stop eventually, you know. But you know, I was talking to another girl one day in here, and she was just pretty much like, "Why do you want to um, change yourself for her?" And it was like, because I love her, and she's the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. And if I need to, I sacrifice. Mean, yeah, I relationships mean, take sacrifices. Of course, you know. Oh, yeah. so right now, she's sacrificing for me, and one day I would sacrifice for her. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so back to this dating. You were mentioning Tinder. Yeah, of course. Austin, what is your take on Tinder? <laughs> 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 You don't have any words for the people yeah. on Tinder dating? Tinder is cool. It's easy. Yeah, man. I'm oh, man. Tinder is easy. I'm that glad they easy. don't see my face. <laughs> <laughs> we matched. He said he wants to do what? To what? He's super like me. <laughs> oh, Tinder. Tinder is a cool thing. I mean, Tinder I think it's great. Tinder is just there to just, that's that okay to be like, this is the only hookup app. Like, hey, I hook up. Never no, it's there. not a hookup. Not yeah. just Oh, you don't up. think so? I've never hooked up with anyone. On t- I've never met up in person, like, based from Tinder. Uh-huh. So you're twice. just collecting your matches on Tinder. That's what you're doing. And then when I see them in public, then you like, yeah, let's talk. You're so actually you, cool in person. So you've never <laughs> met any of your Tinder matches? Never. How long have you had Tinder? Like, I just started, like, um, October. <laughs> I swear. Do you have Tinder? Uh, yes, my business and personal. Huh? Business and personal. For your shop. Uh huh. How do you have a Tinder for your shop? How swipe, does that work out? Swipe right on TMC Tinder and get a free drink. I gotta get ready to go soon. That's what I'm saying. My arms hurt. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will continue this conversation later since everybody wants to leave. and um, I don't wanna leave. I just have to go to this thing. That's okay. In Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, it's like two hours. It's okay, y'all. Just wanna leave. It's alright. Alright, cool. Hey, anyway, <laughs> great to see you guys. Hey. Meet the girls on the street, man. Don't swipe right on Tinder. Hey, get out there and like. Get out there. Do do your research. Look your face. Meet somebody face to face. Sniff her nose. Rubber feet. Absolutely. Be genuine and honest. Uh, yeah. And truth. <laughs> the truth don't always like. Be genuine have and to honest. It will save a lot of heartache in the end. Same tantrum. Sure. Thank you to share for. Hey, that's no answering questions. My real name too. I'm the only black guy named Bashira out there. 
Thank you, Austin, for recording this and sharing your input that we literally had behind the camera. No problem. Really appreciate it. Hey, he had a lot of input. Austin's my guy. You know, I love this guy. I love you too, Tashiro. Yeah. <laughs> in the most nameless way possible. All right. Make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe if you like this video or would like to have more on this topic. Make sure that you let me know. I want to see fire editing. <laughs> let me know and I will get back on it. Hey. Bye. No save November. <laughs>